Hi, this is Dr. Greg Oliver. Welcome again to Fat Doctor TV. Today we're here in our office and I've been talking to patients about kind of a different concept in weight loss. And uh, this concept is uh, about the four different components of our cells. So when you're losing weight or want to lose weight or you're fat or you're obese or you're overweight or whatever you want to call yourself, um, there's a reason for that. There's many reasons for that. But we tend to focus on a few things. We tend to think that it's willpower. We tend to think that maybe it's our genetics alone or that it's the environment alone or uh, a lot of different things. But let me tell you what I really think about this obesity epidemic. Certainly there's no question that our bodies were made to store fat. We were made to exert energy and to run and to hunt and to chase things and to build things. And now we're in a environment where we don't do those things. Certainly food is available on every uh, street corner. But let me give you four things. And one is our physical body. We know there are problems with our physical body when we collect and gain too much fat and get overweight. And those can be metabolism issues such as thyroid. They can be PCOS, horm PCOS hormone uh, issues. Uh, there can be genetic issues. Lots of different things can cause it from a physical standpoint. Um, even just metabolism. Some people have a higher metabolism, some have a lower metabolism. So those are physical issues that occur that cause weight problems. That's only one of four components. The second component is our mental uh, issue. The mental issue is how we feel about food, how we feel about eating, how we feel about uh, um, the mechanics of dieting or, or cutting back our food or getting healthier. And so just the cognitive thinking process is important. And many people view food as lots of different things like reward and happiness and, and um, relaxation rather than just nutrition. The third component is our emotional component. Uh, you probably know that sometimes when you've felt sad, you may look for chocolate or ice cream or something to soothe you, carbohydrates. If you feel uh, overworked or threatened, you may look at food as a, as a medication or a drug. So emotional patterns play a huge role in, in obesity and our weight gain. Uh, and the fourth thing is spirituality. And, and I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about your spirituality, where you are in the world as far as yourself, how you feel about yourself, how you view yourself, how you view yourself as part of the world, part of the community, part of the environment, um, how you see yourself as far as things like uh, um, you know, love, uh, as far as hate, fear, those kinds of things. Even though they're emotional, they can also be very spiritual. You know, as one person once told me, and I, I've read that uh, fear is the absence of love. So in many cases, if you have fear in your life for many reasons, it could be subconscious type fear that you don't even know or aren't even aware of things that have happened to you in the past, it may drive you to eat as a protective mechanism. Um, a classic example, and this is just one example, is uh, you know a woman that's been uh, um, abused or uh, it, whether it's physical or emotional abuse as a child may put on lots of weight as an adult as a protective mechanism to avoid the potential of other people getting too close to them uh, to abuse them again. And that mechanism can be broken, but you have to look at both the, uh, the spirituality and how you feel about yourself and what your feelings are for yourself uh, to get to the bottom of this. So we're going we're gonna to go over some of these things in future episodes of Fat Doctor TV and talk more about the physical nature, which we've done before, but we'll talk more in detail about that, the mental nature of obesity, um, the emotional nature of obesity, and how you can not just understand these, but actually treat these, and then of course the spiritual nature of obesity. So I hope to cover those in some future episodes, but today I just wanted to get you on board with, with what we're talking about with patients, that you know it's not you and your fault, it's a lot of things that have happened in your past, a lot of things that have happened in your body, in your mind, in your emotions, in your spirit that are driving you to this point today. So quit beating yourself up about it, let's get serious, let's focus on these issues, try and correct some of the problems, and see if we can get you thinner because I think there's probably two people in there. There's a fat person, there's a thin person. That thin person wants to get out, but the fat person has to be dealt with. Not hated, not yelled at, not screamed at, but dealt with. And we'll talk about how to do that in future episodes. So think about it, and uh, we'll talk more in a future episode of Fat Doctor TV. Dr. Greg Oliver saying so long for now. Have a great day.